Hello, I'm Mr. Brundage from Armorthurn Foundation. We're about to do a test here on a fire fence. This fence, one of our clients asked us to, to plaster it and put a finish coat on it so that we could test it for uh, heat transference through the fence. Much like the plasters that are mo mostly made with uh, um, plastics and, and acrylics in them, they, they all combust. So we're trying to make one that doesn't combust and doesn't shatter, it doesn't craze, it doesn't crack, it doesn't blow up, and it doesn't transfer energy. Moreover, it doesn't uh, 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 flame up. So we're going to do an ASTM E235 open torch test with map gas here at 5301 degrees. And what we're going to do is do a two-minute burn solid. So this test is very rigorous since the, the setback on it is five inches. Now... Uh, ASTM requires an 8 inch setback and they use propane but here we're using uh, map gas which is much hotter and we're using a closer impingement on this test so our setback is 5 inches instead of 8 so they use a time sequence uh, of usually between uh, uh, 19 seconds to 32 seconds we're going to do a full 2 minute burn and see if we get a transfer through this substance this plaster, see if we get a flame up, see if we get, you know, a, a, a combustion or a smoldering, and see if it transfers it back to this foam on the background because it's a fire fence. We want to make sure it doesn't burn up or combust or smolder or crack or blow up. So let's start our test. Let's get a countdown on the time, Mike. Five, four, three, two, one. Check on the back and see what your temperature is and see if there's any conduction. One minute. Can you change the temperature? Nope. 76.5 degrees. Seventy-eight point two degrees Fahrenheit. There's no, there's no combustion on this side, no smoldering, no fracturing, no crazing, no cracking, no expansion. Very, very small amount of, of charring, very small amount. Nothing really to speak of. Just Coming up on two minutes, this, this four, three, two, one, two minutes. There's a two minute burn at 5300 degrees, five inches away. So this test was a pretty successful test. Check their back temperature, your back temperature on your, your back side temperature and see what the thermal conduction is on it. We should get some rise in it. Let's see if we get anything. 85.6, so 83.9. In other words, to get thermal conduction to be able to rise high enough to meet um, combustion, you would have to be at least 325 to 350 degrees, so there was no transfer of heat uh, able to reach that temperature. So this is a good uh, transfer wall for heat for a temporary fencing project where you put a fence up and you have uh, uh, fires that, that, that uh, rage through uh, grassland areas. So if you use this as a separator wall, you know, bonded together rather than bricks, this would be an excellent wall.